Let's dive into NFL Week 2 recap. And, of course, I've got four questions that I want to ask every single week. And we will start off with this one. The best games of the weekend. Do you want me to start off or you want to start off with uh, with your best game? No, it doesn't matter to me. I'll, I'll start off on Thursday night last week. I think Washington and the Giants was highly entertaining. I mean, just ridiculously entertaining. Washington wins 30-29. to 29. Giants covered for me, so that was good. But all in all, Daniel Jones may not have been able to play any better than he did against that defense and still came away with a loss. Like, I, I just... The the decision making in that game for Joe Judge and that offense was it, they just they don't want to take risks for whatever reason and I don't understand it but that that was my my best game of the weekend what uh what was yours yeah so I had I wrote two down just in case that 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 was one of them best game of the weekend other than that one and the first choice I actually had was the Vikings cards Minnesota went into Arizona and they really put on a show. That game went back and forth. Uh, Arizona's going to score. They're going to score a bunch. Vikings found some offense that was pretty exciting. Came down to a last-second field goal that 87% of the NFL makes every time. And I'll be damned if the Vikings kicker, who the reason they were one point behind to begin with, needed a field goal. And what game wasn't tied was because he missed uh, extra points early. Missed the field goal to win the game. Walk it off. It was, uh, you know. It was a pretty exciting game, and, and it just, you know, I thought I thought that was it. I can uh, I can totally see that one. I can see that one because I did have that one on one of my other TVs, and yes, it was a barn burner, lots of points. Uh, speaking of lots of points, we'll toss this one in there. It's kind of an honorable mention, but it, I mean, for anybody else, it could have been number one on the list. Sunday Night Football, the Ravens and the Chiefs, 36-35. Lamar gets it done, pretty- even with 14 guys on injured reserve. Just ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, your, your thoughts on that one? <clears throat> pretty- yeah, that was that was pretty great. Lamar played like Superman. He's going to have to play hero ball to carry the team for a while, but I think he's capable of doing. It. He finally got the monkey off his back of being Patrick Mahomes and City Chiefs. Listen, this Chiefs team has played two weeks in a row, and everybody in the world now these are probably two best run games in, in, in all of the NFL, but they run at will. I I, I don't know why they other teams are not doing. It. I don't know why the Browns stopped doing it. Just run the ball every time. Keep Patrick Mahomes on the sidelines. You don't need 30, 40 yard gash plays. You don't need to score fast. You need Mahomes getting frustrated on the sidelines because he's not touching the football. Because you can get four to five yards every time you move forward if you want. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you're wrong. Uh, the most surprising result of the weekend nothing this weekend was super surprising. You could say Panthers and Saints just because of how lopsided it was. But, of course, with all the, the COVID stuff going on with New Orleans, who knew what to expect with that? I put the Titans going on the road and getting a win in overtime at Seattle, uh, 33-30. And Derrick Henry came alive in the second half. 24-9 to was the halftime score, Seahawks lead. And Titans defense shut them down in the second half. And I didn't know that they could do that. So what was, uh, what was your most surprising result? No, no, the most surprising result for me was the Panthers Saints. I thought the Panthers could cover this game. I thought they would win the game. I, I really did. I did not see them beating the shit out of the Saints. I did not think this defense was going to be that good that quick. Matt Rule is one of the best coaches of the game of football, and it doesn't matter if it's the high school level, the college level, or the professional level. This guy drafted like nine rookies last year on defense, and now this year they've got one of the top three defenses in the league. Uh, they okay. it's it's the number one DVOA defense in the league right now. I, I I get that. I don't think they play that great of offenses, so that's why I'm giving them a top three nod instead of just a statistical nod. Uh, the Jets are really bad, so Agreed. that's that. But but no, I I I, I got to give it to them. That was the most surprising. They beat the hell out of the Saints. I mean they they never were not in control of that game, and it was because of the defense more than the offense. Yes, no, you're you're absolutely right on that. My question to you now: Who lost the weekend? The Dolphins lost the weekend. So i i I thought that I thought that I do have a little bit of a different answer, but uh, but yeah, losing to the Bills thirty-five to nothing, they were completely inept. They lost to a early. Jacoby Brissett could do nothing. A lot of fumbles lost in this game. I mean, it was just 
they, they didn't lose Tua early. Tua played half that game, and Tua didn't look good either. It didn't. It didn't matter if he got hurt or not. They weren't scoring. Yeah, yeah. No, they they just looked. I, I think I think that offense has problems. They they looked bad against the Patriots, but the Patriots played like shit too. And that was one of those games where you thought the Dolphins looked good last week, and I thought two bad teams and somebody got a win, but nobody deserved to win. This week, they got found out that that was two bad teams and nobody deserved to win, but they got the win, and they better be glad they got that win. I don't think they're going to win many games. It doesn't matter if it's to an R percent, which Jacoby's not going to be very good. If it's Jacoby, they're not going to win a lot anyway. Yeah, yeah. The other one that I had written down for who lost the weekend, uh, refs. Refs, uh, all the taunting penalties, all that. I mean, it, it it was bad in college and in the NFL this weekend, but I think the refs definitely lost the weekend a little bit. Who do you have as winning the weekend? Uh, my winner of the weekend was the Ravens. That's Lamar. That's exactly that, exactly that's what I had down because they needed that one. Needed yep. it bad. Needed it bad. I think that's going to do it for a recap. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.